along that side so that it blew those out and around. And look at all the crap that come out of here. What's happening? Thanks for stopping by, you Fearless Intermediate. You know why we call ourselves Fearless Intermediates? Because we don't get paid. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Make yourself at home, subscribe, click the bell, all that sort of thing, thumbs up so you can check it out and see if you like it. Today, we got something special because you might be tuning in just for this because this here is a 2013 Ford Raptor, but it could be 09 at least to 2014s. And you might be going, hey, where is the fresh, or well not fresh air, but the cabin air filter? That man over there, by the way, is Dr. Torque. He's wandering around trying to fix something. He's a little grouchy because his toy broke. It's not really a toy, but it's a, it's something that's supposed to convert. It's supposed to tell you, it's supposed to read RPMs and it ain't working. So if you tuned in today, you're probably like, yeah, Uncle Jake, where is the cabin air official? And you come on here with me like this. This is going to be so quick. You're going to love it. And you, I'm going to have to do this one hand. You squeeze up here, all right? You take your glove box down and you look in there. And that's it, because there isn't one. Ford didn't make it. But don't don't be mad. Don't 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 hang up the phone yet. Hold on. I'm, there's actually there are filters on this truck. There's not that one, but there are three other filters for you to check. Now the first one that I'm gonna show you gonna is has to do with whether you have heated or cooled seats. And even if you don't, there is one other filter after this I'm gonna show you that you really do need to change for the fresh air. So first you put the seat forward all the way like a so and then you come under here and oh we need a pen light hold on this is very rude can't even see you come under here and you see that little guy right there can you see that that filter right there is on the fan it's a cage fan for the heated and cooled seats and it's pretty tiny really but it does it is a cage fan so it puts up quite a bit so you take that and you twist it clockwise from what you're doing. And then you pull this little puppy out right here. Didn't know that was there, huh? Most people don't, but it's worth blowing out some compressed air or an air compressor if you got it, because um, if you don't, it gets dust in there, it gets up and clogs up all the little pores and seats um, that, that it uses to expel the air. So next, let me put this back, then I'll show you what's in here, which is the filter that you do definitely need to check. Stand by. All right, this is the part where it's not clickbait because you see this screen right here? This is actually a new piece that we took a part out of because this is also where your fresh air, recycled air comes into play right here and this breaks. So if you're ever having a problem in your truck with the fan being extraordinarily loud, we got a video we'll link on how to fix this and we did it without taking the entire dash out and console and steering column and venting the AC and all kind of crap. So check it out if you ever get that problem. But this piece right here, because we've got a little demonstration tool, which way does this go? The motor is here. So this goes like this, is at an angle. And it sits up here as far in and as far up as Ford could possibly get it. Thank you, Ford engineers. You obviously really care about the person working on this. But again, we solved that. But this screen gets totally clogged up because, let me borrow this dark torque, because that screen, is not up here but again it's down in there and so to get to that you have to take all of this off which we will show you how and you should definitely clean it because you're going to be shocked at the junk that's in there we've seen videos with mises and mices and all kind of crap building in there in fact i thought mine was <laughs> hey, give me a look i thought mine was totally clean until a video which we'll insert the clip right here of that particular uh, this camera going up inside when you're changing that door and it's packed. So let's get stuff opened up. I'll show you how to take it apart. I'll show you how to clean it. Let's go. So, but now we're going to have to take this off and there's some clips and things in here that we're going to have to be careful with. We got a ladder set up. So we're <laughs> he's in a better mood now. <laughs> and we're going to keep on rolling here. <laughs> to take these off, just pop your wiper up. And there's a little tab right there. And all you do is pull that over and it comes right off. Super simple. And then the next step, let me get this over here. Is to get you one of these because there's a tab in the outside corner. So while your hood's down, you're gonna put these on very carefully, very carefully. And I'm telling you, these tools, how much was this at Harbor Freight? Mm -hmm. A couple bucks. 
Get yourself one of these for any trimming tools. There's a present. Well, this one isn't mine. It's actually Dr. Torch, but he got me one too. It's really cool. So that's it. Now we pop the hood and then we start taking those clips out. All right, let's climb up the ladder. One thing that's nice about a supercharger is that you got a place for your foot. So when you take that outside plug off, we showed you, you have to pull the, the side that's closest to the windshield really hard. Now I had already popped that off a little bit. You're gonna feel like you're gonna break something, but it's not. Now don't pull this side up. Once you pop that back, this goes back. See these loops right here and that hook? So those will never come up. And then after you do that, you kind of got to wiggle it out and put it down. Now see these clips right here? Those clips are the ones that you're popping out of here. And these loops are the ones that slide out of there. Don't, so you, don't damage your washer fluid. No, and this is real care. You got to be careful with this too. So I like to pop that out. Yeah, and I think it's okay to leave that on there. But same thing for this side. Pop it out the back. There's your second one. And then you get to get to the important work. That's what I'm talking about. And then it never wants to come up here. We've already done this because, why would we do this before? We did this before because we had to change the wiper transmission and the wiper motor because Ford included the relay in the wiper motor for the wiper pump. So if you ever that problem, don't play around with the pump. Well, check and make sure it's working, but that's, that's just probably not the issue. It's probably right there. And we got a video on that too. So, <laughs> we got all that out. As you can see, this one's pretty clean in here. And you might be able to get away with just taking the one side off getting in here. You're still gonna have to take that out though to really get the vacuum down here because this is just a place that fills up with crap, but mine happens to be fairly clean and they're all just jammed down in over there, so. All right, so. The next step is to take this unit out right here. You don't have to take these off because um, normally you have a lot of room without this cooler, which I have for the supercharger. So I've unplugged these, but you just take this bolt out and that bolt out. And move that out of the way. And then you can get to that opening. So that's the next step. I don't know if this is the same on yours as it is on mine, but mine has two nuts here pinching the ground. See that? And the problem is, if you don't notice that and you start twisting, either you really screw this up or you bend that little tab. So try to find a nice little thin wrench to get back there so you can break the outside one loose and you don't twist it up like I did. But I fixed it, so we're good. So now we can take that out. Back to work. Okay, we uh, I got the bolts out now. So I'm hoping now that I have these unplugged, I'll have enough room here again. You won't have to take those plugs out if you don't have the supercharger cooler right here. So let's see. Yes. Ah, yes, there it is. So we got a leaf over there, but there is a whole lot more that goes in through that stinking vent right there. See that vent right there? And down in any narrow leaves that you have end up going down there. So that is going to be the challenge but you can see online guys take this apart and this is like a just a giant rat nest right there so ours is relatively clean except for the thin leaves wherever this had a previous home and um and it, it uh it's it they got sucked in so i gotta figure out how to get that out of there but just that's just one more step let's keep it moving okay. all right so check this out this is the truly annoying part and frustrating when the engineers don't really care about the people working on it. And you can't say it's not true, because look at this. If you look in here, you see, gosh, if I can even get the camera in here. See that screen up in there? It's clear up on the other side of this thing. That's your first layer of, if you can see, I'd be doing air quotes, protection. And then after that, it goes down into, let me get you out of here. It goes down into that wire mesh that's down below the finer one that actually catches the leaves. That is a ridiculous, silly design, but it is what we got to work with. So you can get most of it out by again, taking this, that module out and grabbing everything there. Then you just got to try to reach up there and get what you can. We don't have a vacuum line that could do it. So we're actually going to make something out of this. Um, <laughs> out, of that, <laughs> out of that paper horn and try to just, 
you know, smash it flat and suck as many leaves as we can out of there. There's really no way to get down inside though. Isn't that a lousy design? Thanks a lot, Ford. Although I don't imagine it's limited to Ford. Even the, the Dodge man here. Well, well here. if you'd like, next time they'll make that easy to get at and they'll make your oil filter super hard to get to. Yeah. Yeah, you can only have so much from those guys, I guess. Even though it would've been really easy to just move that filter up a little further. I keep saying, I you should just call me, Ford. We can help you out and Dodge. That guy could be the Dodge rep. Nope. nope. <laughs> we can still help you out. All right. Well, let's get the vacuuming in here and see if we can't pull some of those leaves out of there. Oh, this must be documented. This must be documented. We have this magnificent tool extension. We haven't patented this yet, but it's pending. <laughs> let's blame Joel for this one. <laughs> Okay, let's see if this gets in there and works. We're getting some of it out of here, you can see, but it's just so hard to get back there. <laughs> it's very difficult, so we're getting a little bit at a time. We'll get it. Keep at it. Don't give up. Chicken nuggers are here. I got to take an eating break. Okay, <laughs> having a heck of a time trying to get that out. Uh, and, oh, there we go. And uh, so I, we tried, I was, you know, Tom's like, don't break your cooler, but even without this in the way, you just can't get, you, you, you're you not gonna get a vacuum in there. There's just a, a dome in the back. And I knew there was a whole crap load of leaves out there that we couldn't suck up from the front. So we just got an air hose and we just sprayed in here along that side so that it blew those out and around. And look at all the crap that come out of here. And these leaves right here, wherever this guy's from, this is what's broken apart and gotten down in there and totally clogged that up. So we're gonna put that back there <laughs> so we don't litter. No leaf littering. And we're going to suck that up. Right, Tom? Uh, sure. We're going to suck it up. But that is way more results than we got doing anything else. So let's uh, let's save you some time. All right, let's get this back. Yeah, back. This time, we've got all those leaves out. This is exciting. Yeah, baby, now we're gonna blow a little bit more of this out and see if we can't get the last of it, but way encouraging. See, we figured this out, so it's easier for you. So you don't have to. A lot less. Oh yeah, way better. That's, that's everything out of there. Well, that's a win. I'm cutting currently. Let me get all this crap done here. With a razor knife along that edge. Now I'm going to try to pry that up and see if I can get it. If I can do this, it will be yet again another world's first in the face of Ford. I like the Raptor, but some days we refer to it as the Crafter. I don't know if this is the Raptor's fault. I don't think it's Crafter material. It's just Ford engineers. Please, Ford, please. Well, it's starting to get a little bit darker, but I've gotten that loose in there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's kind of all pried up. Now I can get my hand up in there. The thing about it is the hood, the metal slopes up underneath that, up into a cone, then back down. It's like a cone of shame. It's shameful. So I, there's no way I'm gonna get a vacuum in there without busting that thing apart. I don't wanna break it. So what I did is I took apart this here and took out the blower motor here, which is just three screws up in there and pulling this carpet back gives you enough room to slide it out, no problem. So now I'm gonna blow up through there and see if I can blow the leaves and stuff up over that cone. I wasn't gonna do it at first cause I'm like, it'll just bounce off the screen and fall back down. But now that I know there's a cone of shame there. Oh, my neck. We're gonna see, we're gonna see if that works. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so a breakthrough possibly. We, I was able to wedge that up enough to actually get the, this nozzle inside of there. Can you see that in there? And so I'm gonna now go inside and blow air up through in hopes that this will just suck it out as we go. I think we might actually get this. That'll be really cool. Okay, let's uh, let's give it a shot. If we can, let's see. 
if the GoPro can tell us anything. Because I think we got it. Let's look and see what the footage is. <laughs> oh, we got it. We totally got it. That is clean in there now. Wasn't that simple. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of putting back together, but that's cleaned out. It was packed in there before. That old footage just showed. Plus, you saw all the crap that was up on top. Now, most of this, I'm going to say you could get most of this just by blowing air on that side, on the inside, and pushing that leaves around and sucking it out. That would get most of it as long as it didn't get filled up on the inside like mine did. Mine was pretty packed in there. So... Whew, we're gonna call that good. That's a win. That is another win, despite what Ford tried to do to stop us. We don't let that stop us. That's why we're called the Fearless Intermediates. Thanks for hanging out. That was a challenging thing. We're gonna put this back together. Don't even worry about the cleanup. You go ahead and have yourself a good rest of the day or evening, whatever it is. Enjoy some other videos. You know, like I said, stick around. Hit the subscribe button, the notification button, and the thumbs up, because apparently that's what you gotta do with, uh, all of the algorithms. I don't know. But also, don't you want to know when you can hang out? Come back by seats again. On behalf of myself and Dr. Torque, we sure appreciate it, don't we? Sure. <laughs> we do. And we're going to take you out. If this is for your first time, it's amazing. It's a patented pending fist bump of friendship. Whoop out. Perhaps he's busy and we shall do it ourselves. Might he help us for a moment? He might. He might. <laughs> Let me see this camera. Let's go. Do you hate Mises to pieces? Mises to pieces. I have no room in my truck for Mises. <laughs> look at my face. Don't don't look too close at my face. Actually, all right. Let's let's keep it moving. Look at his face. And he told me it's not the painter's tape. <laughs> it's not the painter's tape that you want, but it's the painter's tape you deserve. It's the painter's tape that you deserve. Who knows what that's a reference to, huh? There's nothing copyrighted about it. Stay away from me, copyright police. Moving, moving. I like to move it, move it. Is it still rolling? It's still rolling. Still rolling. It's rolling, like... quiet on the set. <laughs> Done, now we gotta put it back together. So you want Guild. <laughs> <laughs> the unemployed, not actual actors guild. Okay.